the first time you want to try to take everything in, but you're not going to be able to, which is why you're going to want to see, you know, when's the next one? That's what everybody says. Um, I would I would recommend a place that is special. I would recommend showing up early. Don't worry about traffic. Make sure you have your eclipse glasses, your hat, your sunscreen. I know it's April, but you can still get sunburned. You'll be outside. Uh, make sure you've checked the weather. Make sure you're in the path of totality. But try to be away from the edges as much as you can. You know, good weather, in the path, eh, away from the edge, um, and uh, with people that are special to you and, and, and making sure you're following all the personal protective uh, uh, advice. Um, but at the end, it's really a personal experience where you see something that is literally shattering. It, it is so amazing and unusual to see the corona, to see stars, to see darkness, the orange glow, the temperature drop, the crowds going crazy. Um, this is something that's absolutely amazing. Uh, it, if you want to see totality, you have to be in that path of totality. If you're not, you'll see a partial eclipse, which is interesting and it's cool and it's really neat, but it's not it's not totality. It's it, it's it's night and day. Um, we haven't had too many in, in North America, uh, but that's going to change. You know, we have the one this year. We have one in 2044 and 45 and 79 and 99. So we've got a lot of them coming up.